As always, this is a 100% cotton shirt that's been soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes. However, this one is not spun to being almost dry. This is pretty damp, it's just hand wrung, and you can still wring out water pretty easy with it. Since this is going to be powder dyed, going to flip it inside out. And since this is soda ash all over the shirt, it would be a good idea to wear gloves. I'm not for the video, but you really should. Okay. So I've done that. Pull that out. And for the most part, and I'm just going to get roughly the center line for the shirt. sleeves inside of each other. And this is much harder to work with when it's this wet. and try to make this as wrinkle free as possible and you're not going to get everything out especially with it being this wet but try to do what you can okay once you're sure you have that prepped as well as possible This I'll be taking outside. Before I go out, I mixed up a shaker bottle that's full of one part guar gum to four parts of better black. So let's go outside and do the dyeing. So I've laid out the shirt as flat as I can onto a rack sitting on the ground and I'm going to add this anti-slip material over the top. And then I'm going to hold that down with some bricks. I'm going to use the shaker of the Bitter Black and Guar Gum to cover the entire shirt. And then I also have a spray bottle of water. Soda ash. And 
and I'll let this sit for about six hours. It's been about six to eight hours and while the top side looks something like what I was shooting for, the rest of it doesn't. So I'm going to call this a fail, but go ahead and do the washout just to see what it looks like. Okay, this is going to be a very long washout, so I'm not going to record the whole wash. It's beginning to show what I was actually shooting for, so this might actually work. I mean, for half a shirt anyway. We'll see what it looks like after it washes out. 